Are flea killing medicines bad for your cat or dog? Since 2009, thousands of pet owners have complained that flea and tick treatments make their pets sick. Taking Action reporter Jackie Calloway shows us what the government and a large producer are doing about it. Jack? Well, Brennan, we wanted to check the numbers. The last year they're available is 2011, and what we found is that the EPA reports more than 21,000 complaints regarding pesticides and flea and tick medicines are included. You're okay. Something unusual happened the night Fritz Evans treated Angel and Bucky with flea drops. To us, it seemed like it, it could be a seizure or, it's, or she's definitely in pain. Bucky the Siamese started shaking and Angel hid under the bed and refused to eat. We didn't know what was going on. We knew it had to be related to the, the uh, flea and tick stuff that we put on. The Evans had no idea that back in 2009, the EPA issued a consumer warning after an increase in the number of reported reactions to spot on products. But it wasn't until 2011 and more than 20,000 people complained about pesticides that include spot on treatments that the EPA took action. An agency spokesperson explained, we instructed companies who make spot on flea and tick pesticide products to revise their product labels and submit them to the agency within six months. We are now reviewing and approving the revised labels and consumers are already seeing them in the marketplace. I do think it's very important that the EPA is taking action. The fact that the EPA is taking action just further reinforces that they feel that this is a very important issue. Plantation Hospital owner Dr. Rhonda Johnson says she's seen a number of cats and dogs get sick when the owners don't don't follow directions. I probably saw a cat a month that had had a dog product put on them. And this was a very, very serious issue. But no one, it seems, can explain what happened to Angel and Bucky as the Evans used Hearts for Cats single dose applicators. And the EPA confirms Hearts is among the companies who have complied with the stricter labeling rules. And we will certainly never use that product again. Now, I also contacted Hearts. A spokesperson tells me that safety is their number one priority and that the company performs rigorous clinical tests on all products and that all of their flea and tick products meet EPA approval.